Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, today, I need to dig out some of these uh, lower sprinklers that I have and move them closer to the bed so that, well, for now, I'm just going to put a riser on them so that the, the sprinkler can water and reach every place. But in time, I'm going to hook it up to drip irrigation. I just can't do it yet because this zone is on that grass area. And if this is running drip, it's gonna to have to run for a good long time. And that area, it, the water will just get wasted, be in the street and on the sidewalk. So for now, we're going to just put a riser up um, and let it water that way. And then we're going to figure out how to split these zones or, you know, if I can convince my husband to just let me rip out that grass over there then i could plant some things and put that on drip and that would solve i think that'd be the easiest way to do it but for now this is what we're going to do so that's what i'm going to do first i've got to move all this bark away and i'm going to move it away from the planter box too because i don't know how big of a space i need to dig i don't know where the flex line is how far i can move it but i'm hoping that it's since it's only about eight inches away i'm thinking i should be able quite easily just move it over now We'll have to see. Hopefully it's hopefully it's not connected this way and can't go any further that way. But if it is, I'll just, um, you know, we'll just have to walk around it for now until we can get it all figured out. I've got to also remove the cardboard that has been smothering out any grass that got left behind and any weeds that got left behind when we pulled, oops, I'm already, oh, yeah. I'm already to the uh, cardboard in some spots. But anyway, we will, uh, have to move that. Hopefully I don't introduce any weed seeds to the light. I definitely don't want any seeds to see the light of day and germinate. I'll make sure to come back with the mulch pretty thick and put new cardboard down if I have to. Okay, I don't want to pull you. No, no. All right, where are you? You're right there. Okay, let's out of there. Wow, that was really on the sprinkler head. That's it. That came in the cedar mulch that we ordered. All right, getting close enough to where I'm probably gonna have to get on my hands and knees so I don't just shred this mulch and get mud up with it and get it into my mulch because I don't want, I don't want the cardboard that's touched the dirt to get mixed in with the mulch because then you have the dirt at the surface. All right, like that's, that looks like mud, but there's my sprinkler. All right, all right, so let me get all this away. Just get it off of this cardboard. And then I'm stopping at the cardboard. I'm not going any further. You know, if I'm lucky enough and it could stretch, I could dig up under this bed and actually get it. I'll put that there because this, this is this has a little bit of the it looks like mud, but maybe it's not. Anyway, I could maybe possibly get it up underneath there and get it inside the bed. I see all these little ants, and they're red ants too, so I'm gonna go get my diatomaceous earth and sprinkle that down because I don't want to be working around them and they're not friendly they don't play nice with you they will bite you sting you whatever it is that they do they are not friendly not friendly critters nope. all right i think this is good down to the cardboard let's see this cardboard is probably toast this is the edge of it right here no it's not oh it's really 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 more can't put my hand up there there's ants all right, so it's really moist right here. Actually, let me go get let me go get a bucket because I don't want that anywhere on my mulch. Because it's not going to come up in nice little pieces. It's it's so wet that this needs to go. This all go in the trash. I'll put down new cardboard when I'm done here. There's not any evidence at all of any grass. I mean, I see some some dead roots, but I don't see any grass. Okay, let's see if I can just part up, pull this back. I did leave some of the tape on because I was in a rush. And I figured that if I ever dig that, well, in this area, that the tape would come off. And it does. Uh, yeah, yep. Uh, taping about a channel name. Well, but wow, this soil is really wet. And, <clears throat> and that's because I've been running my sprinklers. And this mulch is really holding... Uh, the moisture in. It's definitely doing its job. But 
in the walkways, I only need it for the suppressing of the weeds. Ugh. This clay soil is nasty. It really is. It's not pleasant to work in. It smells funny. Mm. It reminds me of this being um, at the wharf when uh, I used to go with my class down on a field trip to Fisherman's Wharf and I just remember that smell. Seagulls and that smell. That's what I remember. It smells like seawater. All right, I'm gonna get down on my hands and knees now because this is just too muddy. I feel the pipe already. I can see the white main pipe and it is along right here. You get on me and bite me, I will be very upset. Oh, it's on both sides of it, actually. Okay. So, this pipe runs this way, and that is why we missed the pipe. We hit one pipe and we put those T-posts in, and we have a T-post directly across from it on this side, and we missed but that's because it doesn't run this way, it runs this way. So that's good for me to know. Now I gotta find the sprinkler where it's connected. The other ones didn't have nearly as many tree roots. Okay, well, to my sadness, yep, to my sadness, I'm not going to be able to move the sprinkler any further unless I was, unless I was able to increase the bows, the, the flex line, lengthen it. It's, um, now... Actually, let me think about this. I could dig this way because the flex line comes from this direction. I was hoping to go that way with it. So I, I could probably dig and move it closer this way. Yep. That's just a lot of digging. And I'm trying to think, do I want to be walking around a sprinkler head? Kind of like them being inside the box. But these sprinklers were not laid out in a grid pattern. They were like put in like a little five dice pattern. Anyway, or anyway, it, they're not in a pattern. They're definitely in, oh, this bed is kind of cat. <laughs> um, they're definitely in a strange pattern. So do I want to move it this way? I think I do want it out of the way. All right, let me, oh, 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 ants, ants. I'm gonna go get some diatomaceous earth, sprinkle it around the area. I don't want them on me. Now that I know where the pipe is, I can move the mulch in the right direction.
no scouts. No. All right. I'm going to need another bucket. grub. Let's throw that out to the let the birds find that one. Birds are going to probably start flying over here. All right, there's my flex tube right there. Okay. Let me keep getting it out. Let me go get me another. Need another bucket. Hmm. Where have I placed a bucket? can see a little bit better about what I'm doing. So if I was to, oh, that's where I need this little thingy. Yeah, you're supposed to put it on counterclockwise because see that? It just doesn't hold like it's supposed to. It doesn't go like it's supposed to. All right, and I need another one of those little connectors. Let me go run and get that connector. And then I'm going to have to try to figure out, like, I need to measure that. So when I go to the store, I know what I'm looking at. Okay, I have my little piece. Okay, I've got my little piece. My tape is on here, and it's probably the wrong direction because I think I put both of them on going clockwise, but you're supposed to do it counterclockwise. All right. And I need to put tape on the end of this. So this is clockwise. This is counterclockwise. So I want to wrap my tape 
the end goes to the left and you wrap it and you move it counterclockwise. I don't know that on this stuff it's necessary, but my husband told me to do it, so that's why I'm doing it, y'all. Now, I am going to go because I do not want this soil to see the light of day. And I do believe that I want to extend it. Well, I know I want to extend it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get me some cardboard. And I'm going to um, give me a lot of cardboard. Move all this stuff out of the way. Put all this cardboard down. Um, and then go to the store and see if I can find the extender for this because I don't want anything to <laughs> come back after I had done so much work to cover it so that it didn't have any leaves. I'll put this. No ants, no ants. Put this back over it. So at least that's covered. I'm going to leave that here because I'm going to need it all again. Oh, yes, and I'm going to go just like this. Let me sprinkle some of that biotomaceous earth. I don't want any ants getting any ideas. All right, I'm going to go get some cardboard. I have this sprinkler this sprinkler right here my husband put a stick here so i would remember where it's at but it's here somewhere anyway um there's a sprinkler here that i also have to put a riser on because right now it sprays and it just ends up going into the sidewalk so i told you a bird would come out here he would come out here yep He's been eating my blackberries. I have yet to get one off of here. It's just been munching them. Yeah, like I had one here yesterday that was ready and it's gone already. Anyway, that's all right. It's okay to share with the birds. Nothing on my blueberry bushes, but they're done anyway. The other thing that I'm going to be doing is removing this echinacea because I am going to let the uh, cucumber bush keep growing. And so I'm going to remove these echinacea. I am back. Okay. So I have quite <laughs> the arsenal of tools and materials. Okay, so let me move this out of the way. Oh, still have some ants. Cool. All right, so I got me a little cutter to cut the tool, uh, to cut the uh, tube. Hopefully this is the right one. And I got me a, uh, this is a, 
Rainbird. Um, I think it's for a half inch tubing, which is what that is down there. Um, anyway, it's a coupler and it's the same on both sides. So I'm going to cut the tube and then I have, oh, I do need two. I do need another, I need to go back. I, I have another one, but I need to go grab it um, because I am going to measure out and cut this tubing anyway. And it goes, it'll go inside of this and it's going to be really hard to get it in. And with my grip strength, I highly doubt. Yeah, so <laughs> it said to take a Bic lighter and just kind of, Go around it maybe about eight seconds, no more than that, just to soften it up a little bit, but not to melt it. And then you can stick this in a lot easier. So uh, let me go get my other one. And full confession, everyone. Full confession. Um, I have never done this before. So we are going to learn this together because I've never done it before. And I am not feeling very confident about it. Let's see if I can slide. Okay, there it is there. I don't want to unwrap the whole thing, but I guess I'm going to have to. Didn't want to, but looks like I'm gonna have to. Ah, ah. I don't want to unwrap it all because I really look, I don't even have to go that far. Now, I could get it, I do think I can get it underneath and thread it through. I think I do think so. So, if I want to do that. If I cut it somewhere around here, and I probably want a little bit more turn on the sprinklers now to make sure that what I did work oh I hope it works I hope it doesn't cause I'm gonna get wet the camera might get wet that's okay I think we'll be okay okay I'll move it back okay. move it back here I really just need to make sure that I don't have any leaks. All right, let me go turn the sprinklers on. Okay, sprinklers are on. Oh, but I'm getting wet. No, I'm getting really wet. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's any leaks. All right, well, the sprinklers came on. It wasn't leaking. It was coming through like it's supposed to. 
And um, anyway, I think it's good enough. I think so. Oh my goodness. I would adjust the sprinkler and everything, but I just don't want to get wet right now. So I'll come back out here when I'm ready to get wet. I have other things I need to do. So let me get this filled back up with the mud. All right, well, that wasn't too bad. The hardest part really was getting over the fear and the insecurity. <laughs> and then, of course, you know, the, the putting the coupler, the, the pipe or tubing onto the coupler, that was physically challenging. But mentally, it was just doing it. Um, so that's always challenging for me especially with new things that I've never done before and no one's ever taught me to do them. Uh, so it's kind of where I find myself right now. My muddy gloves. So I just put the mud back. Let me show you. So I just put the mud back in its place and now I've got to cover it with the cardboard and then put the uh, cedar mulch back over. But hey, I actually got done what I wanted to do and I almost conceded and put it over, over here to this spot over here. And then I second guessed myself and then I was just gonna let it stay where it was and just put that riser on and have to walk around it all the time. And then my husband came out and I said, can you extend this little flexible, it's not really flexible, I don't know why they call it flex pipe, but um, it's not flex. It's uh, it's called funny pipe or funny tubing. Anyway, it uh, it doesn't really flex. It's pretty firm, but it's not the same material, of course, as the PVC plastic pipe. Anyway, so he's like, I don't see why you couldn't. So now I've got to go and fix some of my drip irrigation in the front yard, and I feel a little bit more confident now that I've done this. So let's go over there real quick. Oh, well, let me put the cardboard down and then we'll go over there. While we're over here, let me show you just a little quick tour. Okay, so this is my cantaloupe, and I'm getting it to go up the trellis. That is a tomato, and I'm working on getting it up. Of course, that monstrous thing in the middle right there is my cucumber, and I had already planted it before I did my raised beds and everything, and I just did not want to pull it out. And I need to dig up the jalapeno and the bell peppers because yeah they're about to succumb to the shade of the cucumber i have another melon uh honey no this is um cantaloupe and then i have another cucumber at the end and i think i think the cucumber is going to outdo the cantaloupe but i have that i have them i have many of them because i'm afraid that one will die and then I won't get anything, so I'm kind of hoping that planting a whole bunch of stuff will ensure success. Um, I have some, well, actually, let me show you over here. I think eggplant is a very pretty plant. In fact, I think it's going to become something I plant maybe in the garden as a perennial. I think it's so pretty. And there it is right there in the middle. And it has a purple flower on it that's just so sweet. And then hanging over the side, it's planted in the bed, but I'm having it hang over the side and it's going to go on the ground and it is a watermelon. I have a watermelon. If you can see the green planter right there, Oops. let me get you more in center. So my husband, ooh, sorry y'all. All right, in this green planter right there that you see is a watermelon that came back from the ground from last year. 
and we painted the box green because it is in the city. Well, that's our property, but the city has a utility easement on it. Uh, you can use it. You just have to know that when they come along, they can dig up whatever you've done. So if you put trees and things there, you don't really have a say. Um, but anyway, so I have another watermelon out there. And then, sorry, sorry to spin too fast, especially when I'm zoomed like that. There's my blackberry. Yeah, so the garden's starting to come along. I'm actually getting some tomatoes and everything. I started late this season because we were in the process of building this garden. And so I'm a little bit behind. Add that garden there. I got a, let's see, there's a um, rosemary, and then there's a salva, sal, salvia gray guy red variety, and then I have tomato in the middle of that, and some onions, and then some, um, I think that's lobelia, lobelia right there, just a pollinator plant, and then I do have some, I forget what it's called actually. It's an herb. Hold on, it has a tag. I can see it. Let me let me get you down. But let me read the tag real quick. Rue. R U E. So I have a rue plant. Never grown rue before, so I don't know what it's for. But it has pretty leaves. It's like a blue green. And then that little palm tree right there in that pink container. I dug that out of the ground. Don't know where it came from. It was hiding underneath a camellia shrub that I had, that I have trained into a tree, and behind the butterfly bush that was growing wildly large. And when I went back there, I was like, what is this? And it was just growing straight from the ground. And it was that fan leaf uh, palm tree. So anyway, I potted it up because well, it's not ugly, but I don't want it where it was. So now I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do with it because, well, I don't throw any plants away. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so let's go in the front yard and let's, um, let's see about fixing that drip tube. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time, have a good day.